Ladies and gents, boys and girls, hello and welcome to Rider Guide. I'm Neil, your host for today's shenanigans. Now, today's shenanigans is about the T7 and in particular the screen. Um, I commute, um, that's pretty well known, and I also play around off-road. So the good thing about this screen is it's very easy to remove and refit for simple Allen screws, Allen bolts. And what I've decided to do for the commute, because I spend a lot of time on the freeway, 100, 110 k's an hour is to get a taller screen. Now, when I go back off-roading, obviously I'll get a shorter screen and put the standard one back on, just because you don't want to be coming off and brain yourself on a tall screen. It's a, a safety issue. So the benefits of having a standard short screen and making it easier to remove and refit is great. What I've decided to do is get hold of a taller screen and uh, we're going to be fitting it today. What I've bought is from Hurtle Gear in, in Australia, I think it's from Western Australia, I've bought the Pwig. Is that a Pwig? Pwig? Do you know what? They've been around a long time. They're not a spurious brand. They're not, um, they're up there in relation to well known for their screens. This is what they specialise in amongst a couple of other things, I believe. And that's one of the reasons I bought it. It's a top brand. It's got well, it's beautifully finished. It's tinted. It's, it's very. It's built to a standard. It's been etched. It's not just somebody in the garage knocking them, knocking them together. And you can't knock these people that do that. You sometimes get some really nice quality stuff. But let's quickly show you the difference between this. The first thing that hit me, which I didn't realise, was not only, of course, it is taller. This is what's going to happen for me. It's going to just get me a bit more out of the wind. If I stretch myself out, and I really do have to stretch myself out, I'm five foot eight. Shrinking as I get older, I'm sure. Now, of course, you can see the difference in height. It's probably 10, 10 centimetres, maybe, maybe 12 centimetres. But the other thing that hit me straight away, on the standard screen, we've got this gap here. You can get your fingers up, creates a bit of airflow. This twig screen has this lower section here. That might help with a bit of wind noise, which is one of my concerns, is the wind noise. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a, a fitting video. I don't think it's necessary. But what I'm going to do is fit it, show you it, and go from there and see what you think. I think it looks quite good. I think it'd be, as, and as, as I said, it's going to be an easy one for me to remove and refit uh, as and when I need it. But the majority of the time I'm on the road to and from work, or kilometres wise. As I say, on a weekend when I'm out playing with Mrs. Rider Guide on the bikes, we'll, uh, I'll swap it back if I'm going off road to the uh, standard screen. Very easy swap. But I'm looking forward to trying it out and I will update as to how I've benefited in relation to the wind noise. All right, hope you like it. I'll come back in a second. I'll get it fitted and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there it is on. Not to everybody's taste, I don't think. It is quite tall, but that will be very practical for me. Brilliant. As I say, it's taken up that gap there. That triangle has now been removed, so airflow will be restricted. Possibly, possibly the noise as well might be reduced. So that's interesting. I'll be uh, looking forward to trying that. So this afternoon, I've got a late shift. I'll be riding into work on the freeway, 100, 110 k's an hour. See how the wind is affected. We'll have a bit of a chat about it en route. Okay, so first impressions are not on the highway, but I'm just looking at the tint on the windscreen. It's not going to cause any issues, and I wouldn't expect it to cause any issues in relation to the gradient, the gradient, the grade of the tint. It is not too dark, but it looks aesthetically pleasing. Certainly suits this bike. The screen itself is wider, higher up, and slimmer, or as slim as the standard screen lower down. My nose level is the top of the screen, so that's nice. I can see it's not giving me any issues in relation to being able to see around or above it. I'm not looking straight through the, the top edge, which is great. Let's get to the freeway and see how it feels in the wind. Something else that I'm just going to mention 
for those that might want to do it. I've got a Garmin Zumo. I can now, if I wish, turn it into portrait mode as opposed to landscape that it's in at the moment because it would still be behind the screen. I'm not going to do. I like landscape, but that is an option for people if they were to get this screen and they were taller than me, for example, it wouldn't be obstructing. I mean, it wouldn't be obstructing for me, really. I could go into portrait mode on the Garmin, but I'm not going to do. But that's something else that's mentionable there. So, what else? First impressions, the top of the screen, top half of the screen is wider than the standard. And as such, I think it's protecting my shoulders a little bit. I'll, I'll let you know in a second when I get to the uh, freeway. But the protection of the shoulders is from the top half of the screen. Even at 60 k's an hour, I still felt there was a little bit in my chest, which suggests there's a little bit of a vortex maybe around the slimmer part, the lower half of the screen. No worse, no better than the original. But what I am getting is nothing along my shoulders and no buffeting of my helmet. And it's, I think it'll be quieter because of that, but we'll test that in a second when we get up to some speed. So at general commuting speeds for some people might only be 40 mile an hour. That wouldn't be an issue for anybody. I don't think the screen would make a massive, massive difference at that sort of speed. It's aesthetically pleasing, it's nice, but when you get a bit faster, as I am now, I'm just going to start increasing the speed up to about 100 k's an hour as I get onto the freeway. My nose is in line with the top of the screen. The top half of the screen is wider. For me, I'm noticing a, a positive improvement in relation to the wind at my shoulders. That's the wider screen is sending it around my shoulders and I'm getting no buffeting in my helmet. And it's definitely quieter because of that. The bottom half of the screen, where it's the same as, or very similar in width to the standard screen. I'm doing 109 k's an hour there, by the way. Um, for reference, in the bottom half of the screen, I'm still getting a little bit in the chest. Not a problem, but I can feel it. Clearly, the wind is creating a bit of a vortex around the bottom half of the screen, if that's the right word, where I'm getting wind coming out and it's coming, hitting my chest. Not unduly, it's not a problem, and it's just an observation. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm on the freeway, I've got in the pocket, Something I don't always do is I've got a stick. As you can see, at that, if I go higher right up, I've got a wind above my head. I don't think you can see that. It's got a bit of velcro on it. As I go down, it stops. So you can see how it's going across my head. If I go out this outside lane now, does I cover these lot coming out? go to the side to my shoulders nothing 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 go out a bit further you can see how it's flapping now and back in you can see where I'm getting my protection from but where I'm in the middle where I was talking about that in my chest it's flapping go across flapping coming to the shoulder level stops so you can see where it's blowing it let's go back up to the top again so I've got in my chest it's blowing around here no blowing no blowing no blowing I can't really see it but I can feel it so it gives you an idea of where the wind's blowing it's not bad at all it's an improvement over the standard one, which you'd expect at the top half of my body. Shoulders, helmet, and same lower down, which, looking at the screen, 
you'd expect that to be the case so it does actually give a clue from the shape of it as to where you're going to get your protection am I glad I bought it? yes I think I am I've got a quieter ride in and I'll hold my hand up I don't always wear earplugs I sometimes forget to bang them in so being sat behind here I'm sure there's a reduction in decibels so that's your lot for this one please comment thumb it subscribe if you want to share it thanks for joining me I'm Neil see you on the next one